everyone, it is the Charming Giraffe and today we are going to do an acrylic pour painting on an 8x10 canvas. This will be using two split cups um, and a whole bunch of colors. We'll go over them here in just a second. Um, we are going to do a kiss using two split cups. Uh, we're going to do warm colors on one side, dark, uh, cool colors on the other. So go ahead and get started here. I meant to take all these caps off and I failed to do that. Let me do that really quickly. We'll be right back to fill the cup up. All right, we are back. So in the first cup with the warm colors, we're going to use this Artist Loft um, acrylic uh, metallic orange. And then there's this magenta e color. This bottle is not labeled, so I don't know who it's by. I don't think I mixed it. I don't think this is a, a giraffe original color here. Um, we don't need a lot of paint in each side. <laughs> so I'm trying to go really slowly and pouring so that I can do a couple layers. Uh, the next color here is a neon yellow. That's by Artist Loft Flow Acrylic and Liquitex Medium Magenta. This side's gonna look super cool. And then over here we've got, um, this is a dark purple that I mixed uh, using Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Blue and Red. And then just their regular green. I'm just alternating between these two colors. And then finally we've got um, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. It's a light blue. It's their white and blue mixed together. And then Artist Loft Phthalo Green. I think I've actually only done this kiss technique one other time, maybe two. I can I can remember one. It was an orange and pink color one. It turned out pretty cool. So let's see how this goes. It was not with a split cup. I think I want a little bit more of this dark, uh, whatever color this is, over here. See how this goes. This does take a, a little bit of coordination. Um, you want like the streams of paint to touch. Call that good. I don't like those drips in the middle. Let me try to get rid of those. Because we have plenty of paint, so might as well. There was definitely a lot of chunks um, I saw falling at, uh, as it was uh, coming out of the cup, so we'll have to see how that turns out. Some of this paint was older, especially the neon yellow. That's the original neon yellow I ever bought. I think this channel's been going on for over two years now. <laughs> it's at least two year old paint. There's a lot of paint. I'm gonna take a glove off and grab the tweezers because this is impacting how the paint flows. <laughs> Where else are there some? Let's torch it real quick. I really like it. The colors blended a lot more than I anticipated. I can't tell what's an air bubble and what's an actual chunk. I'm trying to decide. I really 
like it. Um, I really like this area actually. How bad is it? There's a lot. <laughs> There's a lot here, guys. I really thought I did good too, trying to estimate the amount of paint I was putting in those cups. I have lost my knack for eyeballing paint. <laughs> We'll run it this way just a bit and then I'm going to run it back because I like, I like our proportions here. I'll run it that way too and then run it back. That'll get rid of some paint but without, without damaging the overall picture too badly. Still have a good mixture between light and dark, or warm and cool. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, let me bring you in for a close-up. All right, here we are for the close-up. Start on the right-hand side. Over here, we've got all the pinks and a little bit of the purple and a little bit of the blue. And then down the right-hand side, we get some of those oranges and some yellow. Uh, it's really kind of blended. There it is, a glare. But you can definitely see the metallics in there from that metallic orange. And then down the bottom, we get all the blues. And then this corner is kind of cool. It's got all the little colors, um, very rainbowy. And then this section is my favorite. And it's got a lot of the colors, colors I didn't put in here. Like there's no white in here, but yeah, that looks really light colored. I'm not really sure what, what made that effect. Really cool. Let me know what you think of this piece in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And it makes you happy.